For this screencast, I'm going to show you how to publish a document. Now this is really important if you plan to share the document with a wide audience, with your classes, with your staff, whatever it happens to be, you must publish the document so other people can see it. Uh, if you're embedding it into your Google site and you don't publish it, students or whoever will not be able to see it, so you must publish. To do this, we do the same thing as if we were sharing with an individual. Uh, we would go to private to me plus one more, or private to me, whatever it happens to be, or the share button. So both, either one of those links will get you the same pop-up menu. But now I'm going to hit the change button on the privacy settings. So let me hit cancel and do that again. There's a private setting right here. It has a little lock. That's the same thing we saw at the top. Only people listed below can access. I want to change that. Now you have a few options. You can make it public on the web. So anybody it actually becomes searchable. Google will index it and it can show up in search results. Anyone with the link, so it won't show up in search results, but you can give anyone in the world the link and they can get to it. People just within your Google Apps account. So if you're doing this in your regular Gmail account, this one and the next one wouldn't be available because uh, this is only anybody with a Google Apps account. So if you're not within the Gross Point Union High School District, um, you obviously don't have this, but it may be your specific domain's um, title there. <clears throat> so you have these options. Select what you want. Generally, if it's going to be something on your website, you probably want it just public on the web. Now, there's another really important setting here. It's allow anyone to edit. So if you click on that, anyone can get onto this page if they have, however they get there, and then they can edit it. So generally, you probably don't want that on unless you're doing some sort of social experiment. So I'm going to go public on the web. I'm going to hit save. And now, if you notice at the top, there is a link to share. So there's a link to share. It's a big old ugly link. So you would of course want to copy it and insert it as a link on your website or use a URL shortener uh, like tinyurl.com to, to make it more, more manageable. So I'm going to copy this and just show you what it looks like. And I'm going to go over to Firefox. So uh, let's say you don't have access to it. What would it look like? Paste it in there. So it actually looks like a Google document still, except there is no editing features. So I can't get in here and edit in any way. So if I were logged into my Google, uh, Google account, it would allow me to make a copy, but I couldn't change the original. Generally, people don't like their original being, being changed. So here, here we go. Uh, I could download it, though. So people could download it and that. You might also notice that D McDowell is viewing and showing that I am actually still looking at it in my other account in my other browser. So that is sharing a document. So now when people go to it or if you embed it, insert it through Google Sites into your, uh, into your web page, it will be available for anybody else to see. If you are using your main Gmail account for this, you would have some more options to share it uh, via email um, and uh, Buzz and Twitter and Facebook. So within Google Apps, you do not have those options. All right. Thank you very much.